showcasing all of Minnesota to you with Megan Newquist and Chris Eggert. This is Minnesota Live. Well, hello. Welcome to Minnesota Live. Today is Friday. It's October 7th, and we are starting with a look this morning from the Driftless area in southeastern Minnesota. Fall is definitely in the air this morning. There are all kinds of things happening this weekend to get you in the mood for fall. You could go bird watching along the river. <laughs> no, that shot was weird. It was the way it was kind of the, the yeah was zoomed in. It's called the Driftless Area, yet it appeared to be a current, <laughs> which <laughs> we need to look into that. Hey, we're happy that you're with us on this Friday. I'm Megan and he's Chris and uh, we're here for the next hour. That's giving right. You all kinds of fun we're things here to do. until we're not. Uh, we're <laughs> all about celebrating fall here this morning. We're going to be heading up to the North Shore, checking in with a friend of ours in Grand Marais. She is internet famous for her weather reports. She owns a successful business. She's going to be doing some leaf peeping for us today. Love that. That gets that snowflakes up there yesterday. <laughs> we don't need the snow report yet. Uh, we're going to find out the leaf peeping spots that she highly recommends. Also on this Friday, it's our Try Before You Buy segment today. And today's th uh, theme is campfire. We love roasting marshmallows. We like making our favorite version of s'mores. I think everyone knows at this point that we use Reese's peanut butter cup instead of Hershey's. We first. being you and your family, not we, we collectively. Yeah, you should. I've no. never been invited over for a campfire. For a s'mores. For the yeah, sorry. Anyway, today our producers are going to have some s'mores ideas, and we're looking forward to tasting them, like cereal and ice cream, and it's kind of like pumpkin. You can make s'mores flavored yeah. anything. Yeah. So we'll have s'more ideas. S'more ideas coming for your you? way. All right. Uh, Water Tower Wednesday is back. Wait, what? No. For one day. And it's not Wednesday, so there's that too. It's Water Tower yeah. Friday. So we are going to take you to the top of one water tower right here in the city, let you know when you'll get a chance to climb to the top and see these really cool views with your own eyes. You won't be like that high because that was taken from a drone. And but the top of the tower. You won't be on the drone because the drone's about that big. Top of the tower. Yeah. All right, let's quickly get you in the loop and see what's making news around the state here at 902 on your Friday. Gas prices are up this morning. In fact, AAA is reporting that the national average jumped two cents overnight to $3.89 a gallon. In Minnesota, the price jumped up by a penny. It's now at $3.80 a gallon. It is more expensive in the metro, and Carver County has some of the highest prices across the state. Folks there are paying $3.89. The price spikes are being blamed on an announcement from OPEC earlier this week. The agency said it'll be slashing oil production by 2 million barrels a day. After a trip to London last week, the Vikings are back home at U.S. Bank Stadium this weekend. They're hosting the Chicago Bears Sunday. Vikings are off to their best start since 2016. They're 3-1, and one, and looky here, they are leading the NFC North. Savor that. Because it might not last long. <laughs> uh, Minnesota has won both their home games so far. The Bears are 2-2 two and two on the year, having lost both of their road games. So it's all set up for us to win, right? Sure it is. Kickoff is set for noon on Sunday. Meanwhile, the Green Bay Packers take on the New York Giants this weekend. And that game's happening in London. So you get up early and watch football at 8.30 if you're into the Packers. I'm kind of with you on the whole, like, they're leading the NFC North. It's like you want to whisper that line because you don't want anyone to know because then they're watching and then the pressure mounts yeah. and then... It, it, it doesn't really matter apart. right now, but it's, it sounds good to say it. It's fun. Right? There you How go. much longer can we say it? That's the question. Hey, there's a new winter attraction coming. Ice Castles just announced it'll be building its Minnesota Palace in Delano, just west of the metro. It will be at the Fountain Hill Winery and Vineyard. The palace will include ice tunnels, an ice slide, and of course appearances from your favorite wintry characters. It's tentatively planned to open on December 16th. Of course, that all depends on the weather. Tickets start at $11. Kids three and under get in for free. Two full weekends of Oktoberfest begin today in New Ulm. And while you're there, make sure to check out the city's brand new mural. We'll get a little of that guy, which was just completed this week. You can find it downtown on the Nuvera building. There's a little mm. time lapse of it. That's very cool. This is the New Ulm's 40th year hosting Oktoberfest events. Live music begins at 5 o'clock tonight. There are going to be things like food trucks and beer, games, vendors all weekend long at sites all across downtown New Ulm. 
We have a link to the full list of events happening at minnesotalive.com. If you can't make it this weekend, don't worry because Oktoberfest continues next weekend as well. We had them on earlier this week. Yeah. They, they brought some good eats and uh, super nice people. So, uh, And uh, she was in the traditional Oktoberfest garb. Yeah, she looked fantastic. The beer was good. Kenny, do you own a, a, a set of Leader Husen? I don't talk about that publicly. <laughs> this is the thing you're holding it back from us? <laughs> no, I do not. I've never even tried one on. Do you? No, I'm thinking it would be fun to have one. Do you still have that singlet from wrestling in high school? I, I didn't wrestle. We um, saw the Facebook post of yours, Ken. You had it on when you mentioned you were going to do the triathlon? That's a wetsuit. That's a little different. No, it was very skimpy. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't have arms. I was like, he posted a singlet on. It was very close. It was very tight. It was, and it was, it was a wetsuit. <laughs> it went all the way up to my neck, and then the arms were gone. You the are known for uh, posting provocative things on your social media channels. That's me. <laughs> Mr. When you think of provocative, you think of the weatherman. You're right. That's it. Sprinkles across the area right now, guys. A couple of little tiny heavier showers in the downtown area of Minneapolis and St. Paul. These are moving through the Twin Cities as we speak. If you live in Minneapolis and or St. Paul, you're getting rain right now or will be shortly. This is headed to Invergrove, Woodbury, and eventually pushing down toward uh, the Cottage Grove area and then out of the metro completely. There they are. They've broken off into two little showers here near Columbia Heights and Roseville. Both of these headed like that and away. Right now it's 41 degrees. This is the coolest it's been all night long. 40 at St. Cloud. And when you take some sprinkles or a light shower moving through guys and it's only 41 and it's a breeze, it kind of feels like fall out there today, but mm -hmm. don't lose hope. I've got sunshine and warmer air for the weekend. Okay, sounds good, Ken. Thank Thanks, you. Ken. Hey, up next, we're going to introduce you to the CEO of Special Olympics Minnesota. Learn about how they're getting ready for the 2026 Special Olympic USA Games happening right here in the Twin Cities. Plus, there is a Twin Cities water tower that's opening to the public first time since before the pandemic. Visitors get the opportunity to climb this tower twice a year, and our photojournalist, Bill Mitteke, got exclusive access to give you a sneak peek of that view. I'll tell you how you can take part in that in a bit. And speaking of views, we are showing you where you can see the best fall colors this weekend from a thousand feet up above Lake Superior. Thank you for watching Minnesota Live. We appreciate you being here. We're back right after this.